Snake, what did we say about sharing? Sharing is caring. There we go. Now get in your in your two man cardboard tank. Yes. I love sir. I, I love the I love his reaction when he first saw that. I was like, it's a tank with a gun. Wait, why am I, yes. wait, why am I, I taking orders from you? You're you're, you're a liquid snake. Do you know what? Now I'm just thinking. For some reason, I no, have I this being, idea. It's like I was being I was being autocon. He was trying to be autocon. Yeah, you're autocon. Really? Yeah. You sound like him. Well, why oh, was thinking? Oh, you know what? I don't know why. For some reason, his his autocon just sounds enough like the like liquid snake to me. I don't know. Why. Bruh, so snake, oh. it's my turn to use the Xbox, Hold brother. S <laughs> snake, snake, it's my turn to use the Xbox. It's just yeah. Like, well, you already have your own Xbox. Let me have mine. I don't have an Xbox. I only have a PlayStation Three. I on, I you, only have the recessive have, PlayStation Three. You have an Xbox. 3. I have an Xbox Series X. <laughs> okay, actually, shit. Uh, you you also, all, you yeah, also my, have a cardboard box. All, all my fa all my father gave me was the recessive Xbox. You got the dominant <laughs> Xbox Series X. <laughs> all I got was the Xbox Three Sixty. Oh, no, like, no, um, I'm, I'm, and, I'm going for really dumb I, jokes. <laughs> and Snake has the Xbox X series. Yeah, yeah it's, exactly what I said. It, 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 <laughs> I, I know that. we made that joke right. I know we made that joke right, but it's starting to sound like a gosh thing, like Abbott and Costello routine. It really Xbox does. Models. Also, also, uh, James. <gasps> oh snap! We're so close. Actually, we're really close to the top of the castle now. James. Oh shit! Yes. I I would like to petition that you and I do the uh, Uno routine. As oh. liquid and uh, as liquid and um and solid. The Uno routine. The Uno routine. The uh, uh I didn't get Uno. It's uh, it, it got, like let's oh, play. Oh, you, you know what? You know you know it is. Thing. You know what? We, oh. we may not be we may not be able to do it in this video, but James, I'm gonna find you that script and I'll show it to you. Actually, do you mind if I do you mind if I do like a very quick revision of that, just really quick as Mario and Luigi? Okay, go for it's it. Like, Actually, wait, real quick. Actually, we're, oh, we're very nearing. Yeah. We're very nearing the top. And actually, oh, we. Oh, there's there's Peach. The real the Princess real one. Peach. Huh? Well, look at us. It appears she can she can neither see nor hear us. Curse you, camera. Damn it, dude. Oh. Sorry, I'll give you my shout out. That's me, all right. I'm the baby. Gotta love me. Oh, what? <gasps> oh, well, oh, heard that. That voice! Is that Mario? He's come for me! Hooray! <gasps> Hello. It is possible the impact completely of the circuit. It's the way it was defective the whole time. <laughs> I guess. I'm locked in a room all the way at the top of the statue. Well, of course. Okay. So that's where the... Okay, but, so that's the penthouse. But how are you... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Ah, the power! Dang well, it. Baby Luigi, what'd Ooh. you do? The uh, baby there. Mario, excuse me. I stood right here. Actually, I was like... I was just looking at shit! How dare you blame me? Well, we know Princess Peach is safe, though. Yeah. But who pulled this? But who pulled the plug? And who I put almost that thought, there? I Did almost thought there was gonna... I almost thought it was gonna pan over and it was just a shroob holding the cord to the outlet. Oh, <laughs> that would have been perfect. That honestly, I feel like, been... honestly, truth be told, I do feel like more games kind of needed, or more, more, more portions of this game kind of needed that kind of humor, just because, you know, right. just offset it's all so... the grim, dark, dark yeah. aspects it's so of this. I know, don't worry. Uh, yeah, so let's take this pipe. Back. Okay, we're going to take this pipe to go up to the castle. Fun, fun, fun. Well, oh, also, a chomp. I didn't realize there were, I didn't realize shrews were cruel enough to put chain chomps in the water. Yeah, no worries. We're just gonna take this pipe going up. Oh! Uh oh, God ah! damn it! Oh, Chain no! Chain Well, um, we're now going in the entire opposite direction. No! Down the pooper. And oh, thus, shit. we're now oh. suddenly in the castle sewer. Wow! We are now. In wow! Thi wow! This penthouse is trash. We are now in the <laughs> rectum of Arsenal gear. I'm not even we joking, by the way. Up, right? Well, that clearly didn't happen. Yeah, we went down. We are now in the rectum of Ooh. Arsenal gear. By the way, I'm not wow. even joking. In Metal Gear Solid 2, when you go through Arsenal gear, the entire... It's rectum, yeah. Yeah, no. The entire place, each part is named after a body part, and the last place you go right. to is the rectum. Oh, God. Oh. To be fair... Da, da. Yeah, to be fair, you fight, me you fight like, 25 Metal Gears in that one fucking room, and I'm just like, well, I knew that this part would be a piece of shit. 
I was saying, I was gonna say no, Matt. It was a literal shit ton of Metal Gears. <laughs> yes, exactly. Wow. Also, I still uh, suck this game. I know. By the time we're uh, by the time we eventually get to Conquer's Bad Fur Day, we're probably never gonna say the word shit ever again. No, no, Man, we're we using are. Up all of our uses of it. No, yeah. no, because yeah. hey, hey, hey. For me, that is infinite. I will swear infinitely. Whoa. I am the sole reason we are safe. What the? <laughs> Oh yeah, it's Logan. A... While you were gone, we dealt with these this thing too. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, forgot no. to yeah, yeah. I like how you're like. Worth. What the fuck is that? Even though I recorded I this. It's called suspense of disbelief. Oh jeez, he's whacking him. He's whipping us, whipping us both. And it's called suspense of disbelief, man. It's the reason why we still it. had to create some like, you know. Let it be a joke about well, things. Yeah, welcome I back, just, I just, now I'm imagining you. you as Ed Wood going like, Haven't you ever heard of Suspension of Disbelief? Yeah. <laughs> be no, my, my, my theory now uh, is, uh, is that uh, we're not the only ones to travel with our younger selves in, through time. The Shrews have done this before, and that's why there's a second Princess Shrew. I mean, that's it could be that, but oh god, that, what if they did but, use time travel like that? Oh, what the? Uh, for, for a minute, I thought that Chai Ghost was actually going to go back and pick up the older shroop. So I don't know what exactly just happened there. What? Oh, never mind. God damn it. Oh, oh. Well, we revived him. Yeah, okay. that's why we got Yeah, that's why we got get rid of the... the oh, okay, so if a ghost floats into them, they get a big buff to all their stats. Oh. Pretty much. He's got to go. Are you using the green shell? Because I don't want to waste a red okay, shell. Okay, fair point. And I know... This, and I know you know, it's, it's kind of like we're like... <laughs> excuse me. It's like, you don't want to use fire rock on everything. Yeah, I use like a little bit, you know, sometimes you just want to use a little fire rock. At, anyway, the, same the, same time, at the same time, though, with all the money you earn, you can really earn enough red shells to last you throughout the entire game. True. Oh, yeah. Like, like, I, 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 like I said this before, like, when it comes to healing items or just bro, or, or healing items or in this game's case, bros nice. items as well. Like, you can earn, earn enough money to just, well, sell out, sell most, if not all, of the stuff you barely use anymore and just fill your pockets with the stuff you're gonna be using for the rest of the game. In Persona 4 Fair. Golden, whenever I have enough money, I'm just like, alright, time to buy a shit ton of mock leaves. <laughs> that's the, that's the yeah. full heal device in that game. It works. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. I'm just like, okay, uh, how many mock leaves do I have? 25? Mmm, probably a good idea to get 50 more. By the way, yeah. Mario, are we going to do anything about those peppers we keep collecting? I almost, you're right, I almost, I almost never use them just because I'm neither. always like, because they, they use up a turn. Not to mention the fact that, I mean, the status, the status effects for them are, they do sound cool in theory. It's just that, well, with the kinds of abilities you get throughout this game, it almost completely negates whatever, what other additional strength you can add on to the, to the brothers. Well, especially when you can get badges like the badge that you have on Baby Mario that makes it I feel like it would stronger. be more beneficial if it were for the fact that, well, not only that, but the fact that, well, if you play your cards right, you could, you'll barely hurt yourself in battle. That's true. Um, that is that is the sign I always liked about the Alpha Dream games, that it is... I'm pretty sure there, it is entirely physically possible to beat to beat any of their games without taking a single point of damage. Not always. Let's not forget, let's not forget that little bit of dickery in the final boss of uh, Superstar Saga. Fair. Okay, how about this? Yeah. Like, it's possible to avoid. It's possible to avoid every enemy attack if you're smart. Right. Yeah. That's fair. Yay. Oh god. Okay. Can I talk about this? So I was watching no. a YouTuber by the name of Small Ant. <laughs> okay. Well, no. Go, no I, go ahead. Logan. I. I. I, 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 if, I if, if I was not in the middle of a sentence, I would have been like. But I, I had so much momentum that no <laughs> amount of no could stop me. So yeah, I'm gonna continue. You had no momentum. Oh my gosh, you're right. Jeez. Yeah, I was watching this guy named Smallland, and he did a run of Super Mario Odyssey, which is oh, freak. okay. I'm gonna keep you suspense for a little bit longer. I need to just quickly answer this phone call real quick. Okay. But we're going in the sewers. I'll be right back. Okay, go phone okay. it in. Why don't you? Ring, 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 phone call. Phone call. But no, um. <laughs> anyway, sorry. So. Anyway. You. Whoa. So we're doing a, so we're doing a bit of a coin collecting thing, but uh, we're kind of yeah. We, we, need, we need to, to get back us, to our, our for, world ourselves. To, we got enough coins to last us for the rest of our lives. Yeah. Um, I mean, in a way, that's kind of like that's pretty much how it is with the Mario RPGs. It's the only downside is that well, you know, the fact we collect coins so easily, we always make. To be fair, we always do make the little joke. Of, oh dear God, that's a lot of shoes, Fuck. But, um, oh, anyway, 
I think now would be a good time to bring out the mix flower. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because th these these guys need to die. I, I'm just going to do a nerd. Three of them have one foot in the grave anyway. I'm just going to do a nerd. Uh, the Dragon Ball Z bridge. One of my favorite. What is that? What is that? Were you going to use that on me? Yeah. <laughs> and here's Logan forget, failing to forget that those three. Oh, actually, now that I think about it. Okay, you know what? Never mind. Okay, that, never mind good. what I was going to Also, I also I love how he is like, why why waste uh, so waste red shells? He has fifty fucking seven. I can do him I did, if I can do it to him if I want. Basically, it's like that one Pro Z D video of the uh, it, it goes like, oh no, I'm out of mana and use an ether, but I don't want to. Why not? I only have seventy five of them. <laughs> yeah, I know. So what I was and so I was in, and what I was thinking of yay was um. Crap, what was it? Uh, yeah, so I was watching this dude, Small and he does a lot of challenge runs of Mario Odyssey. And it, let me just list out some of the ones, some of the runs that he has completed. He successfully beat Mario Odyssey blindfolded. Oh, jeez. What? Just like, just the, the idea, the ways that he know, he memorized like, oh, if I position myself against this wall, then I need to do eight jumps to the left. Like, he did that, and he, he memorized it all. Wow. I, mean, I mean, granted, with a game like Odyssey, I can imagine that being kind of a tedious process, though. At the same time, though, I also think back to, um, I forget who did it, the, blind, the blindfolded run of Punch-Out, and, like, when you really think about it, that one's technically very much possible. It is. It just takes memorization. And I should say, at no, in, in no way, shape, or form am I saying that these runs are fast. Some of them take, like, ten hours, but... So, which I mean, guys, looking at, I, I, I bet if you took, if you look at our videos that we did with James, I'm sure that gets pretty close to ten hours long. Mm, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So, so he's done. A, he's he has successfully beaten a blindfolded playthrough of the game. He successfully beat the game without taking damage once. <coughs> if he ever took damage, he would load a previous save to before he took the damage. Oh, so that's continue moving wow. Forward. That has to. Cause, I mean, <clears throat> that's not, that sounds convenient at all. Aside from the fact that, that Mario Odyssey is a game that auto saves, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought I could make it. I had to believe, but no, I, I have a plan to get us over there. Whee! Get over there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's so that, what, you so need what to else do. happened? So then he did. A, he, then he did a run of the game where he didn't. Com he didn't collect a single Oops. coin. Sorry if you're. So he was, My dog is sleeping. And not a. Fine. So wait, not a single coin. Does this also count the kingdom coins? Yes, no purple coins, nothing. He like he no and, collectibles and you, whatsoever. And oh. you'd be surprised. And you'd be surprised watching his run. You'd be surprised how often the game wants to give you coins. If any enemy uh, dies yeah. for whatever reason, even if another enemy kills another enemy, you get a coin. So basically, uh, it may as well be the same as also doing a no hit run, or, or right? Or excuse me, a, a, a pacifist run. In pretty much, yeah. And you know, there's that he did that run. He did a run of the game. The, I, I remember because uh, game because game champ did this before. Uh, he did a run of the game where you cannot jump. You have to only oh, use yeah. cap bounces and stuff. Forgot about that. Oof. Um, what else? Oh, then he did a run where he combined all of them. Where he did a run where he collected no coins, took no damage, and never jumped. Jesus Christ! What? Yeah, that was crazy. That I was think crazy. I saw a thumbnail of that. I'm just like, how? How? Yeah, that's how I saw it. He, it. It was just that crazy. Oh, then get this. Then he did a run of the game where he was blindfolded. Oh, uh, not blindfolded. Uh, what he, the way he did it was he did a chat only playthrough of the game in the sense of he turned off his he turned off his TV, but the you know but if you're using a capture card, people can still so see it that way. So another blind run. Uh -huh. The blind run, but he also muted the audio, so he couldn't see or hear the game. Uh, he could oh. only go off of context clues that the chat gave him. Like, oh, you're just in front of the moon. Oh, a little bit to the right. Okay, oh now jump. God. What, is, that. what is wrong with some of these people? What, what, I know he did some other runs. He did some crazy runs, dude. Like, it was so nuts. Like Now, next thing you know, he's going to do a run where he ties one arm behind his back. I mean, what? he almost did. Oh, no, oh, he, no, he did that. Oh, no, he, technically, James, he did that. You know what it was called? What was it called? Get this. He did an entire run of the game where, apart. By the way, he all he, he sometimes uses a uh, two-player mode to kind of like work around it. But basically, one time he beat the entire game without ever touching the left, the left stump, the left thumbstick on the le on the first player Joy-Con. So basically he beat the entire game without Mario being is able this, to actually walk on, around. Is this uh, what? Is this the he same just, guy who did uh 
who did like Mega Man, but no, no. Hits. No, that's Game Champ. Okay. That's Game Champ. But Game Champ's run was super inspired. But uh, but yeah, Game Champ's the guy who does it for a lot of games. Small Ant just does it for Mario Odyssey. And uh, again, some of those challenge runs, I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, someone, oh they, they, someone has a lot of has a lot of freaking time balls of fire to do I mean, stuff like that. I mean, yeah, and I mean if it makes the money. I mean, if it makes them money, like, that's how I they mean, do this on streams. Steve, what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, but challenge runs and stuff. Eh. <laughs> okay. I mean, I get it, making the game a little bit trickier, but still, it's like, wow. I guess just to see if... I, I guess he wants to see if he could do it. I guess so. I mean, if you can do it, then I guess do it? Because he can. I mean, yeah. hey, so if the game presents itself in a way where it's possible, then the, then people do it. I mean, there's plenty there's plenty of people I'm sure wanted to beat uh, ukulele in the impossible lair without ever having lost to the impossible lair. And and it's possible, it, somewhat, yeah. But that's it's, impossible. Great, jo great job, great great job, great job, Capital B. You had one job. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. To be real, to don't. be real though, that that thing is a fucking nightmare, even with whatever amount of bees you're able to find. I would love if that was. I would love if that was actually the title of the achievement you get is he had one job. <laughs> <laughs> Make his lair impossible. That's all he had to do. R slash <laughs> had. But yeah. R slash one job. Oh, that's that's actually an R slash. Yeah, there's an R slash. Oh yeah. yeah R slash no, one yeah, job. That makes sense. <laughs> the the new one the new one I've been addicted to reading is uh, R slash choosing beggars. Mm, yeah. Which is yeah, exactly what it sounds like. People trying to be like, oh, I want this instead. My I favorite, want this for free. Oh, my favorite yeah, okay, is absolutely. My favorite is uh, R slash. Uh, shit, what was it? R slash. I had a stroke. That one's my favorite. Oh, that was a great one. Yeah. I, uh, okay. From hold on, like having having seen it in. Oh, go ahead. Uh, just basically, I love the um, like one one that I love is uh, today is the last day of school. Schwal, schlo. Why can't I say schlo? Schlo, schlu. All right, yeah, today is the last him, day like, of struggling. teaching building. <laughs> All right. But yeah, it's like, ooh, actually, oh, more power. Oh, heck yes, I don't care about stash points. Oh, God. Give me. Mario, I can't stop! <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, I, 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 was I was totally out of this. Right. What, what You're if, lying! What, what, kind, what kind of pants were those? Rocket those pants. Are, so, rocket pants. Oh. And then, and then oh, I, no. and I, just, and I just, just replaced the stash oh, no. pants. No, I just imagined Steve Bloom's character from Metal Gear Peace Walker and says, saying rocket piece, says rocket pants. Rocket pants. <laughs> rocket <laughs> pants. So stuff. Do you think it would have been better if he did Hello. speak? Oh, block? hi. The block. That, block. It, excuse me. That is That's ours. That's chain chomp. What a jerk. And now we have ah. a game. Oh, joy. Oh, oh no. Because... The way this game works is that oh, chain oh, jump has oh, to go. Oh, 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 oh. So, so it's oh, it's, it's, a, it's a fair it's a fairly it's a fairly tedious because guess what it's everyone's favorite game the laser block game. God oh, fucking damn God. it! Hey wait the, sorry. Uh, the way it works the way it works is simple. Connect any two blocks and they'll fire a beam at the, at that corresponding pipe. By the way, you were saying. Yes. Um, do you think it would have been cooler if Steve Bloom said that with English like rocket the piece? <laughs> <laughs> I, the, no, I don't think. I bet in the original Japanese, like the guy who said that said it like that. I need to uh -huh. look up the original Japanese dialogue of that game then. But no, I uh, just yeah no just I love his character in Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. It's so stupid. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, uh, hype. Uh, is there anything that you're wanting them to do with a Mar- Like, say if they- say if Nintendo managed to get, like, a new Mario & Luigi game being made, do you think that they should try to, like, remake, like, what this game? What the Oh, jeez. Oh, no! Oh, no, that's Basically, cheating. Uh, again, this isn't too bad. Again, it's just tedious. For the final hit, you have to knock out all five of them. Like, one by one. Oh. Or not. Uh. Actually, oh, you know what? Oh, now I notice it. Look for the one who's chomping faster. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. Oh, okay. Real one. Never mind. I lie. You don't chomp, have to chomp, knock chomp, out all chomp, five chomp, of them. Chomp, Just chomp. don't be a dumb. Anyway, sorry. You were saying? Now. Now. Die. Steve. Oh, I, yes. I thought he was Steve. left the... Yeah, no, sorry. Yeah. So, hi. Do you think that they should try to remake this one in the same in the same vein that they did with Bowser's Inside Story in the first one? Or should they try and make a brand new one if Miyamoto took the reins over from Alpha Dream? 
Um, you mean it did it as a whole? As a whole. Well, I, while I know there are some people that would love to see this game being remade, at the same time, though, I kind of would prefer if they just flat out made a new Mario & Luigi RPG. Um, as far as what I would like, um, one idea I had in mind, like, and I, I'm sure you guys have seen it, there's been plenty of fan work involving it. I kind of wouldn't mind seeing the idea of, like, maybe Wario and Luigi being, like, rival bro, a rival team for Oh, them. that'd be cool. So you have to fight, yeah. uh, you have yeah. to fight people who also know Brothers Attacks. Mm -hmm. I, um, that'd be interesting. I like, uh, so did, did Paper Jam leave any, like, opening of, like, oh, this could happen next kind of thing? Uh, not, not really, no. It was pretty self-contained. Oh. Okay, so now what's gonna happen here is we have one more laser block puzzle and we then have we'll be one on job. this whole thing. I do, genuinely, like the... I do genuinely feel bad. Rocket I jeans! I... Uh, oh. Rocket More. jeans. Mario, <laughs> no, please. Mario, yes! Just... He, 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 freaking, he freaking double layers it so now Baby Luigi has the rocket pants and jeans like... <laughs> <laughs> it just explodes. <laughs> And, and, and the weird part is Luigi's still there. And Luigi's like, what am How I? How am I still here? What <laughs> am I? <laughs> you're not human. Actually, no, you, uh, I mean, yes, you I mean, are. I mean, tech, uh, no, I mean you're, back, wait, you're, wait, no, it's Mario, I get it. it's Mario who's not you. I get it's it, no, Mario no, 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 better joke. He's like, wait, am I the other me? <laughs> <gasps> but no, I was like, no, because no, I think we talked about this on that I Twitter post. Channel. Like, no, you technically... Technically, Luigi and or Mario are not human, yeah. according to the official Nintendo wiki. Some, it's one of them is either Mario one of them is the only one who's not human. Uh, Mario's like well, almost well, Nintendo no, 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 or whatever. Well, well, no, no, that's that's all pretty much been fixed at this point. They're both okay. labeled as human now. Okay, okay. but for a time, <laughs> okay. for a time, you're Good. like what? <laughs> I, to be fair, to be fair, the Mario Wiki is technically not official. It's, cle it's no. clearly fan. It's clearly fan yeah. made. But Dan, but Dan doesn't have a lot of good, a lot of decent. And well, as far as we're concerned, official material backing it up. Good yeah. moderators. Exactly. Yeah, they had. They do have moderators. They they take yeah. it. To, they take it all into moderation. Uh, right. Uh, hey, hi. Yeah. I was curious. You were talking because the other day we were you were talking about that. Uh, you had that podcast for that B Stars dub. Is that like an official dub or like just the most unofficial, official, unofficial fan dub of that of that anime they're um. making? It is a fan dub, but the thing is, is that, like, first off, it's, like, the f it's, like, as far as I know, we're the only people that are, like, outright doing dubs for Beastars, and mm -hmm. even if there are, I would argue we probably are the ones that probably have the highest quality, because my buddy Elson, like, I I've seen a bunch of his work, he he's really good at, like, I know you guys like to think high of my audio mixing, but his is like really almost studio quality mixing, and just... That teaser trailer looked really hire, nice. I should hire him. Oh, no, uh, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, yeah, the teaser trailer that he put out was really good production value. Can I, can I just mm -hmm. say, I find it hilarious that the second you guys announced the dub and started it, they announced the anime. <laughs> oh well, that's the thing. Well, well, first off, well, even before the anime, we were doing like dubs of like the then latest pages of the manga, and then once Elson found out that the anime dub was coming, not dub, once he found out that the, that the anime was, like, coming, because at this point he pretty much has become, like, a massive Beastars addict. He's like, alright guys, I have an emission, we're going to dub, I don't know why I'm giving him a British accent because he's actually Asian. <laughs> I'm gonna fight New York. But no, like, <laughs> so, he's took it upon himself all to- Alright, gentlemen. He kinda... <laughs> yes. Sorry. Alright, gentlemen, we're going to do this Beastars dub and we're going to do it now. We've done it Thank for, you, like, John the 12th We've done it for like the twelfth time in a week. I don't care. This just in. This just in. Hype's friend is now John F. Kennedy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like when he started talking, uh, like your impression of him, I just was like, he sounds like Mayor Quimby slash John F. Kennedy. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, it's like at first I was thinking, like right in the middle as I was saying, it's like, should I really try to imitate his voice? I feel like I wouldn't get it right. Then I just oh, did whatever, whatever that was. But yeah, so, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I was just about to say, so yeah, we already did, we already dubbed the first episode. Ooh. At the time of us recording this, he's in the middle of mixing the dub for the second episode. He's hoping uh -huh. to, by the end of 2020, get up to at least episode five. 
Okay. So, uh, so I guess now in the midst of all this, where do you stand on B stars? Like, are you really in it because you're his friend, or are you in it because like you have like you do now have interest in the anime? Because I've never seen it. Well, personally. I've never even heard of it. Well, I've heard of it. It's kind of, it's kind of one of those manga that are kind of like, it's kind of like an indie manga in a sense of like it. Do, it's not like on the same tier as like you know Shonen Jump and whatnot, but. It, it definitely caught traction, like, really easily. Like, the, the, the artist and Arthur behind it actually won a few accolades for it. By the as way, am as, like, I my... the only one who feels yeah. like, hey, here's our Japanese... Not being the... All right. Here's our Japanese version of Zootopia. More well, or less. I mean, you make that joke. There actually are quite a few similarities to it. Except oh, I this know. one's just a lot more adult. But anyway, as right. far as my stance on it is... um, Wait. I think for what it's trying to do, it's well made. I wouldn't say I'm like a massive fan of it. I, although I am a part of it because you know, you know, both being a friend of Elson and plus he just he genuinely really does like working with me. So there's that. Like it's kind of like, mm -hmm. what's kind of funny is that like I don't think he'd be mad if I said this, but he's admitted to being kind of a perfectionist when it comes to his dub. So he's like, he, like Fair. kind of like being really picky when it comes to like actors and how they deliver stuff. So I was ah, initially so that afraid means of I would never get a chance. Well, hang on, let me finish. So, I initially, I was kind of worried about working with him because I was going to be like, oh, I'm probably going to have to go through, like, nine hours of, like, fixing my lines until I get it right. Nice. So far, I haven't really had to do a whole lot of revisions. He just really likes my acting. Okay. So, I mean, that's yeah, fine. I mean, I, I, it doesn't mean that it's impossible. It just means that he has a particular sound for it. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, for instance, like, I, I, I know Gui likes my Papyrus. You like my Henry. I like your rock. I like I like Gui's Alphys. <laughs> I like Gui's Princess Peach. I like James's Mario. I like Luigi. I like I sorry I like Hype's Luigi and Hype's Mario. I like Hype's Bowser's. Like I, it it's just it just is a personal preference kind of thing at the end of the day. Yeah, well, kind of yeah. And everybody has something. Well, if he ever needs me for anything, let me know because I I want to be I want to do more dubbing. Well, I will say at the moment I don't think he's looking for any actors at the moment. I think once we get around to doing like for future episodes, I'll be sure to let you know when he starts doing casts for that. But first off, be warned he, uh, for something like this he does. He already has, like, the main actors cast at oh. this point. He's just trying to find, like, extras or minor characters. No, I'm not, I'm not I will saying just for B-Stars. I'm just, in general. Well, what, what I was about beans. to say is that, like, just in general, I will give you a heads up on, like, a lot of times he does do first come, first serve. Can I say that they could, I don't know. If I, I don't know if I've even gotten the chance to really appreciate this, but my gosh, did the shrooms decorate fast. They, yeah, their fashion they did. sense is really crazy to get well, all of this. Also, it's weeks. probably their alien technology that's, that's, well, uh, that's responsible. I was also going to yeah. bring up the fact that you also were guys, you guys also remember the time travel is a thing, right? Yeah, I was about oh, yeah. to say. Yeah, it's probably been a long time. Nice. Yeah, it's probably nice. been a long time. Yeah, well... <laughs> for all we for all we know, for all they, we know, this decoration decorating project's been going on for at least a few months, and that's how long Peach has been stuck there as well. Probably. <laughs> Alright, let's level up the baby. Heck, it could have been years for all we know. She'd be an old crone by now. It's totally possible. Oh wait, I guess yeah. it's Mario's turn, not the babies. Come on. I mean, I mean, okay. At the end of the day, granted, I, I, there is also the matter of fact that, <laughs> but, wow. like, you know, with Egas' whole time machine, they went to that particular part in time. All those time hold distortions were, as far as we're concerned, are practically taking place within that same time of those. It's complicated. Yeah. Right. So it's not. And, so, and, so it's for all for all we know. Yeah, the shrooms are pretty fast at what they're doing. And again, as you saw there, Gui, yeah, just again, like the whole like thing is that again if you if you don't level up a stat in a long time you're guaranteed a huge bonus when you finally get yeah. around to leveling up. oh yeah more peppers i'll never use yeah. less amount less i I'm never use them. the peppers <laughs> even in superstar I, I saga them. i never use them i sometimes just, forget uh, they exist if they if they if it was something like oh if you use this it lasts for the whole battle i'd definitely be more in, like enticed to use them but i mean yeah otherwise... there's the, there's those that i know later games will also introduce the boo biscuit which is basically just Dodging for beginners. Yeah, it's basically right. that dodgy sheet from. Yeah, Thousand I never use those either. Oh yeah. I'm like, no, or fuck like, that. Or, I want to actually practice. I want to actually. Or like repel get gel. Good. You know. And there we go. Right. Let's knock this down. It's there. Actually, now our... we've officially reached the top of the castle. Sweet. And um, actually, I was also about. I also remember the fact that I forget if it was with Dream Team or Paper Jam or whatever. But I also remember that Mario and Luigi started like by the later games, started adapting just regular guards as well, in case you don't, you feel like you're not comfortable in your jumping dodge skills. 
which is oh. a stupid addition. Lady? Well, no, I, I think it's I think it can be handy handy in very particular situations, yeah. but otherwise, yeah, I've used it, it is a, it is a game that really it's a game that it's a game that really rewards you for actually practicing Oof. up on your dodging skills. Right. Oh, okay, I gotta use them. Go. Go, babies. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. All these oh, bonus, items. bonus items. Three of each. Again, again, you're going to need bosses. Just God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, we mentioned that in the last part. I don't, and I think you already were there for some part of that, Maz. That my main critique in terms of the balance of this game is every boss battle is clearly designed with the idea that you're going to be using Bot Brothers items and you know yeah. the the attack items because your normal attacks just aren't going to cut it. Yeah. Right. It's just, right. It'll just drag out the fights like nothing else. And why are you? Oh, that's. Oh, because oh, I got right. a because I got to get this shortcut, and B because I'm gonna make one last trip to the store to get to, to get because I'm not gonna use these coins anywhere else. <laughs> hey, Molly, so you're, back, you're back early. So is this to so, save the world? Like, did we no. did we just approach our you know turn back like turn back if you need prep point? Very very close, but this is the boat. This is our last convenient time to really you know step back and buy stuff, and I'm not gonna use these coins anywhere else in the game. Actually, you know yeah. what? Like, that being the case, I will say, I don't remember if I brought it up in Superstar Saga, that's probably the only real nitpick that I have with the Mario & Luigi series. And, well, yeah, just with the Mario & Luigi series, because I know some of the Paper Marios did this as well. I would have appreciated it if, and for all I know, maybe a fifth game would do it, I would like the option of having, like, post-game exploration. Yeah, I always, yeah, like, I always, nice. I always like when they do that. Like, I love Mario Odyssey's post-game. Well, not just that. I mean, like, in a similar vein to, like, how, you know, how, like, Thousand Year Door and Super Paper Mario would let you keep playing the game and get everything you missed, even though you technically beat the story. I kind of wish uh -huh. the Mario and Luigi games would do that as well. Okay. That'd be nice. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, we're just doing some more. Again, this is just the end of the game. End of the game. Yeah, shopping. we're, we're getting to the point this. of no return. We're unloading. We're unloading. We're unloading this stuff out of stuff. Well, now he's already bursting at the seams. Yeah. Hi. Hi. I'm sure he's fine. Right, stuff. Well. <laughs> he's just like he's like exploding, like leaking. Uh, out. He's, he's pretty much re. Like... He's pretty much reenacting the Yoshi's Island commercial. Oh. I'm... oh god, that! <laughs> oh god! I remember oh, god, seeing that, that as a kid. There, uh, there was that TMK for the too much, the too much Kirby commercial. Like, what was it with? I didn't what even was see it when it like... initially oh, aired. My first exposure to that commercial was when Sim Call Me Johnny reviewed the game. What, what was it, what was it with '90s commercials and like borderline body horror stuff? Dude, the '90s, it was the a, '90s were a it was weird a thing at the time. Like it was. Yeah. Yeah, people had a fascination for body horror in the 80s and 90s. Yeah, that's why David Cronenberg was a thing. Yeah. So yeah, so with that said, th so yeah, with that said, yeah, that's it. We're now at... This is basically the last major checkpoint of the game, and all that's left is the end game. so... Oh boy. Stay Ooh. tuned and bring your popcorn. This is the it's end. It's gonna be a long one. My only friend, the end. Are you ready?